Well guys, good morning there. And uh, feeling a little bit better now. But guys, look at this. Cloudiness. You know what that means? Big fish weather. We don't exactly know where we want to go yet, but first, we got to go to a quick trip, guys, because we don't have enough gas. Whew, we're finally at a quick trip here, guys. Pumping some gas into the bass boat. I have no idea where we need to go yet. Um, far, or do we stay in the metro cities here and go fishing? I really don't know, but the weather's nice today. Um, very cloudy, big bass weather. Uh, I just don't know where to go. Metro or far away? It is like what, seven, almost eight right now? So, decisions guys, but man. Other than that guys, I'll see you guys on the waters. Let's go. You, you gotta use no ethanol added gas, guys. It's expensive, but really helps with the uh, life of your outboard motor. Uh, see what we need. Yeah, we need. here guys i um, pretty excited to fish a new lake I haven't fished a new lake for quite a while kind of see what this lake is about so weather conditions as you guys can see uh, pretty big bass light we got some wind it's kind of cold thinking the 60s this morning right so um see what we can do though I mean hopefully fishing is good I've never been to this lake no help no nothing so uh, just gonna apply the skills that I have but uh, let me show you guys what we have tied on as you guys can see here, we just got the drop shot tied here. Good old Jay on the titanium setup. New setup, Corrado with a chicken and a dark sleeper. Okay, I'm gonna start off with uh, the little jig here. It's a got him jig and I just uh, spiked the uh, crawl chartreuse. I really do not know anything to expect, but again, guys, goal is just uh, best five fish. Right now, it's like 10 feet of water right here, as you guys can see. 10 feet of water. Uh, there appears to be little fishes ahead of us. There's like the weed line, of course. And I'm um, thinking there should be some fish close to deep waters. This entire area is a no-wake zone, so I'm thinking um, with a the no-wake, there's definitely gonna be bass that live here year-round. Well, that don't get disturbed by the uh, motor and all that stuff. But anyways, get some fishing in. Oh, that's a thick pad, thick weeds. But maybe with this pad edge, it ends at those docks, okay? Let's try out those docks, see if uh, these fish, they like that transition, hanging out somewhere where it's uh, an obvious change, okay? And that's uh, something you can see visually, so that's uh, something for you guys who don't have fish finders or stuff like that can use. Just visually using stuff that you see on the lake to cue you where these fish may be, you know? I just turned the live scope out that way to the main, to the uh, open water and I can see some fish just suspended out there, out deep. Could be some bluegills, bass, I will suspect, especially in the Minnesota area, to be sitting a little bit lower. But we'll see. Look pretty big though, they're kind of far away. Typically, uh, residents that live on the lake, they would uh, treat their weeds, you know? So right there, as you can see, it's all dead. They treat it, they can use it for whatever purposes that they wish. Fish, first fish of the day. I knew it. Little guy. We'll take this though. Flip. First fish of the day. I'll take that. Little guy, the jig. See, I don't know how he's going crazy. Okay, spot lock. Let's see what this fish weighs. Okay, scale zeroed out. See the first bass weighs today. One pound. Chill, buddy. Uh, we'll mark you there. One pound, five ounce. 
Bro, chill. We'll let you go. See you, man. Okay, first fish of the day are one pound and five ounce. Honestly, this new Corrado looks like a, a Luz and Abu Garcia. I guess that's the new look. These might just be like bluegills, guys. Gills. So let me just go ahead and put in a new trailer. What I'm also using is spike, spike it. And I'm gonna try to make my jig here as uh, bluegill as possible. I'm trying to make it look like a blue bluegill imitator, you know. So here's what you do, you dip it in here, make sure you don't get it on your boat. Yellow just makes it chartreuse. Extremely dangerous. Do not spill this on your boat, otherwise you are jacked. So here's how it looks like now. See that? So it looks just like a bluegill, because bluegill's got that little blue turquoise looking tail. This is a perfect imitator stands out a lot too now when I'm swimming it so this uh, this jig I can do so much with it I can let it sit I can swim it do pretty much anything with it mmm these fish might not be shallow at all guys run some new spots So it's appearing like this lake might be a uh, different approach than what I initially thought. So let's adjust accordingly. 100%. I'm sure these fish are gonna be in the sh gonna be in the gunk. So put on this Tokyo rig here. We're gonna take out the dark sleeper. We're gonna put on a different lure. So let's just go ahead and tie on a swim jig. Right here's a black and blue got him swim jig, black and blue. That's good. Bam. We've adjusted. So, let's fish for a little bit. Fish on. This one did. Oh, it's like a three. <sighs> Super skinny guy. We'll take that though. The black and blue jig. Woo. Super scrawny guy. Take him though. I knew that was gonna be effective. Oh yeah. Fish number two though. Not on the list. Super skinny, dude. What the heck? Let's get away on this fish. Two pounds and seven ounces. Two pounds, seven ounces. Okay. Okay, let's 
start punching. There you go. Immediately. Punching. Woo! Ah, I freaking knew they were gonna be on this bite. Little guy, but we will take that, dude. They don't want the frog, but they want the punch. You know, guys, I love punching too. So, man, these bass in here are all skinny. Anyways, those fish that they caught, I'll take that. One pound, 13 ounce. Third fish of the day, one pound, 13 ounce. So small. See ya, buddy. Given that this lake is a, you know, farm type lake where there's a bunch of pads like this, dude, like I just couldn't help it. like. I tried a lot of other stuff too beforehand because I knew that this punch deal was going to work, you know. Because if they don't want top water, they're not really at dogs, and they're not really biting like, you know, outside the weeds, outside the pads, then they got to bite in the pad, you know. So, I also didn't want to start the day off like right away with uh, punching pads because uh, it's still a little bit cloudy. Once the uh, clouds clear up, and the sun comes out, these fish are gonna run all under these pads. Oh, let's go, baby! Struggle bus, guys. I don't know what's going on. We check deep, we check everywhere. Conditions are good. What the hell is going on? People really be catching big fish out of this lake? Used. Fish on. Fish number four. Woo! Skinny fella. Oh, that should look too good. There you go. So small and skinny on this lake. But I'll take that. Fish number four. What a freaking grind. This lake is not nice to me at all. There you go. Pop it off here. Little guy. See what this bass weighs? Probably like two pounds or whatever. Fish number four though, guys. One pound, 15 ounce. Or 14 ounce. Okay. Let him go. Thank you very much, Mr. Bass. See ya. That's a fish. Get out of there, boy. Oh, stuck my sleeve here. You think I hook good? Fish number freaking five, dude. And they're all skinny. I'll take that though, man. What a grind. But we freaking got our five fish limit. Stop. Whew. Fish number five, one pound, 15 ounce. See you, buddy. What a struggle bus, dude. I'm just literally surprised that I'm even able to find these fish, dude. Oh, guys. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but this rain clouds. So, uh, yeah. I might have to call it a day. Five fish limit. Uh, we got our fish. That's good. Fortunately, not the size we wanted to get, but... On this lake, I'm feeling like I'm happy for anything I catch out here now. How'd you do out there? I did okay. Any big ones? I got one good one. How many pounds? I, I didn't weigh it, but it, it's over three. That's good. I lost a three pounder about 130. Oh, okay. But, I mean, I don't know what good is around here, so. 
First time here? Yeah. Same? Yeah. How'd you do? You know, I think I overhyped it. Yeah? You know, I thought it was going to be a lot better, but it was relatively slow. Yeah, I caught a good amount of fish before 10. Oh. And then about 10 o'clock, I couldn't catch anything. Oh. So I don't know what the deal is, but. I'm sure it's a good lake. I'm just got to figure it out, I guess. Right. What a freaking epic fail, guys. Literally, the rain came and ruined the first spot. So we left, and now we're back in the cities, and now look at the weather app, and it's still gonna rain. God dang it. Oh well. We will fish well, for whatever time we have left. I think we got about an hour, but this rain ain't gonna ruin our day of fishing. I mean, it was suck to come all the way back to town here just to get rained on again. Like, a lot of heavy rain again. That would suck. I got I'm pretty drenched over there, dude. Okay, go over right here. I'm gonna try to make uh, something happen. Uh, we are at a spot where I fished, I think last year. Similar conditions, similar time of the year. I was just punching. Punching lily pads and uh, they produce a pretty good bite. Uh, let's see if we can uh, re redo that kind of bite. Rain's gonna come in soon. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> At least it worked. At least it worked. God dang it. How the hell he come off? The reality behind uh, punching, right? So, for example, if you're punching pads or whatever, right? You want to make sure that you use a ball like uh, three quarters to an ounce of uh, tungsten weight. Sometimes heavy if you need to, if it's really thick, right? But basically all you do is flip it in front of you. Uh, you want to make sure you have at least like 50, 40 to 50 pound braid and uh, at least a 7 four or 7 foot heavy rod, okay? And a high speed re re uh, reel, at least 7 speed. And uh, all you basically do is just want to flip right into these pads, okay? And just let your lure fall and then retrieve it and pop it in and out. Just trying to gain whatever bass's uh, attention in the... Uh, under the pad. I had one earlier. I'm not. I'm not sure what happened to it, but it's. Uh, you don't really need to set the hook that hard. If they're in there, they're gonna bite it. Just gonna set the hook. Just giving it a, like a little lean hook set. Not nothing too crazy. Otherwise, you're gonna run the risk of breaking off a lot of fish. Because if you drop down and then set the hook, for sure, guarantee you're gonna. Snap your line every single time. <clears throat> Doesn't matter how big the fish is. Fish on. Bro, how I be losing these fish? Jay is just not my love, guys. Oh, both bites. Woo. All right, guys, we are finally back at the crib here. Um, yesterday was yesterday's fishing trip was indeed a grind. Lake one, uh, we went there. We were hoping we were gonna catch some giant fish. Uh, we found fish in areas that we are comfortable with fishing, right? But the thing, the biggest problem was um, trying to reproduce it, right? The dock bite, uh, we caught a few fish. Uh, they were on. 
I mean, I caught one, right? And then I tried to find some fish offshore, trying to find them rock piles and stuff like that, weed line transitions, but saw fish on Lysco, but I think they were just like little bluegills and stuff, and so we could not get a bass to bite out there, you know? And so eventually I was like, you know what? This lake is like filled with like pads everywhere, you know? So I'm like, let me go punching because if they're not out deep and if they're not hugging the dogs and stuff like that, dude, they gotta be under these pads, you know? So I started punching, boom, 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 boom. Start catching fish, you know? But by the time I could, you know, fish all those pads there on the lake, like the rain came in, this rain clouds came in, and I was like, damn, bro, we gotta get off. So got to the launch. Got rained on, man, cut my day short. I drove back home to the cities, fished the lake. I know the punch bite is effective on. Had a few bites, the bites that I did have, I don't know, for whatever it is, but maybe I wasn't setting the hook, maybe I wasn't setting the hook hard enough, but man, just could not get any fish in. But anyways, guys, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, now it's been about like a week, and I gotta say, might go back to a uh, regular work schedule now, but hopefully we can squeeze in a few more days. But feeling good now, that's great. But other than that guys, thank you guys so much for watching all the way till the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, really just helps the channel grow, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out these two videos. Other than that, I will see you on the next one. Peace out.